Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to some more FNAF news, and this might be one of the most exciting videos for FNAF news we've had in a very long time. Today, we got some absolutely insane reveals from U2s and also Funko for a whole bunch of amazing looking upcoming FNAF products, and we also got a bit of details on some brand new Pop Goes information coming very, very soon in the next couple of weeks. So honestly, let's not waste any more time, if you're brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing, we're trying to hit 50k by the end of the year. Year and about like 80 to 90 percent of people who watch these FNAF news videos aren't actually subbed which is very cringe so if you want to stay up to date with everything that's going on in FNAF I highly recommend subscribing to the channel while you're down there hit the like button and now let's hop into the news so before we can talk about some of the more exciting news we first have to get through that's right yet another hot topic product this time it is a glow in the dark hoodie based upon security breach. As you can see, it's got the box art on the front and some images of the chibi heads of the four Glamrock characters on one sleeve. And like I said earlier, it glows in the dark. There you go. Next up, we got some brand new previews for the second collection of the Fazbear Frights graphic novels. We got four brand new pages released by Amazon. I'll play them as I'm talking right about now. All the previews you're seeing right here are for the story The New Kid, which is one of the stories featured in the collection alongside Fetch and also Room for one more. And speaking of books, we got a whole bunch of brand new books and info regarding these books revealed a couple days ago. First up, we have the confirmation that a third graphic novel collection based on Fast Bear Frights is being made, and it has a planned release date for September 5th. And this third collection will feature stories from Step Closer, Bunny Call, and also Hide and Seek. The FNAF cookbook has finally made an appearance once again with a uh, insightful description. The one and only official FNAF cookbook, with over 40 recipes inspired by the hit games. Delight in over 40 tasty recipes inspired by the FNAF games with gorgeous eye-popping photography. From Fredbear's Pepperoni Express and Chica's Ultimate Chicken Burger to Foxy's Cover Cooler and L Chips' Nachos, the official FNAF cookbook is packed with mouth-watering recipes that are hauntingly delicious. This also is planned to release on the 5th of September 2023, and just based on the description alone, it sounds like this is going to be a very interesting FNAF book. Over 40 recipes? detailed based off characters in the franchise, that sounds amazing. And lastly, we have Tales from the Pizzaplex book number 8, estimated time of release, October 3rd, 2023. So it looks like we're in for the long haul with the brand new Tales from the Pizzaplex book series. And now let's make our way over to the Pop Goes series to check out yet another weekly update from Kane Carter. First up, for the Pop Goes Evergreen section, Kane reveals that they're working with the creator of Tealerland, which is a very popular FNAF fan game. I'm sure you've seen a lot about it. It looks spectacular, so it's amazing that they have the creator behind that game on board with the Evergreen team. And Kane says that Nitro will be handling most of the environmental models that will appear in the post-night sections of Evergreen. He also showed off a render of Mangle made by Alexis, which looks absolutely insane, sharing yet another progress update on how the models for the false toy characters are going. He says, since the last update, Emil and I worked on some more base gameplay programming of the post-night sections to really nail some of the players' camera and controls, and it's looking good. I'll give you a little hint at some of the post-night stuff. You get a flashlight, which doesn't sound very dramatic. Tons of FNAF games use flashlights, but believe it or not, it's the first for the PopGo series. And lastly, he says, last thing I'll mention here is that we've recently finished another phone model with the help from Emil. And it actually looks like this brand new phone model is going to be based on the tape recorder from the third FNAC game. For the other section, he says, even more merchandise is on the way. A company recently gave me some mock-ups of some upcoming products, and though I don't think they look perfect just yet, they do look really good. They'll be a very welcome addition to the Fanverse merchandise catalog, which is already looking super promising for 2020. Once again, if you want to give the full devlog a read, it'll be linked down below. And also for Pop Goes news, Kane Carter has once again updated the soundtrack playlist on YouTube for Pop Goes Arcade, adding the songs Robot Battle, The Machinist, Secret Boss, and To Be Continued from The Machinist DLC. And lastly, you may or may not know, but Docco is hosting once again another charity stream, this time on December 17th, and Kane has revealed that Pop Goes will in fact be making an appearance with some donation incentives, those being a full 360 degree showcase of all three Freddy models. Models, a cool phone unlock, and a new piece of merchandise announcement. Moving on to U2's news, a couple days ago they released this interesting teaser of their upcoming Springtrap figure. The caption saying, my boss has informed me that I can't post feet pics anymore. JK got you, ha. 
boy oh boy, these are <laughs> sure some interesting teasers, you twos. But thankfully today they revealed their brand new FNAF wave, dropping with Golden Freddy, Springtrap, Purple Guy, and also a Purple Guy sprite. I know a lot of people when the Purple Guy figure got revealed, they're like, eh, I don't really like how it's half human, but also half 8-bit sprite. Well, luckily for you guys, they made a full sprite-based figure. So yeah, the full wave includes Springtrap, Purple Guy, the brand new Purple Guy sprite, Golden Freddy, as well as some shoulder plushies for Freddy, also Vanny, and also Mr. Cupcake. How these work, by the way, is that the plushies have magnets at their base, and you take another magnet, you slip it under your shirt, and that's how they stay connected on your shoulder. And all of these release in less than a week, in six days from the time you're seeing this video being posted. So if you're interested at all by any of these products, I highly recommend saving up pretty soon. Finally, for news topics, we've got Funko, who <laughs> on my live stream the other day, I said was really falling behind to other FNAF merchandise companies. However, today we got some of the craziest announcements I think we've seen in a very, very long time with Funko. Before we get to those though, they have a brand new scare in the box board game. Is this even considered a board game? I don't know. Basically, you go around the table, you pass it around, you crank up Freddy's music box, but I think you don't want to crank it up too much or else he pops out. I don't know. It's a weird piece of merchandise. But frankly, I want to move on to some of the more exciting reveals we got today from Funko, so let's do that. First up, they showed some brand new FNAF snap sets, those being Toy Freddy with yet another office. And I know the snap sets get criticized quite a bit, but honestly, I think they did a fantastic job capturing Toy Freddy's likeness with this figure. They even include a swappable faceplate where his eyes are hollow and his mouth is hung open a little bit, just like uh, his stance in FNAF 2. Then we've got a two-pack featuring Nightmare Chica as well as Toy Chica. The swappable faceplate for Nightmare Chica has her mouth open a little bit and Toy Chica has her eyes hollowed as well as her beak removed. And for individual packs, you've got what I'm told is Phantom Foxy. But anyways, Phantom and Foxy comes with a It's Me sign, and he is going to be exclusive to Walmart. And lastly, for individual sets, you've got Nightmare Bonnie. Swappable faceplate, once again, has his mouth hung open a little bit, and I actually really love his accessory, which is a, like, ripped up, shredded guitar. A shredded guitar. <laughs> Sounds like that could be a pun. Yeah, those are the brand new snap sets coming out, I'd assume, pretty, pretty soon. Once again, I'm a huge fan of the snap sets. I think they're one of the most creative and unique pieces of FNAF merch we've seen in a very long time, especially from Funko. And speaking of products that are very unique coming from Funko, we have what I think is the announcement of probably the year, the reveal that everyone has been waiting such, such a long time for, and that is the official reveal of the Foxy and Lefty Funko statues. You may remember the security breach statues that released before the game came out, and those looked perfect, and everyone wanted more statues. Then a while back, it was leaked that Foxy and Lefty would in fact be getting statues, but then it was silent for a very, very long time until today because these are our first looks at the brand new statues for Foxy and Lefty and I think they knocked it out of the freaking park. They look absolutely insane. The amount of detail they put into these characters, the backgrounds, the characters themselves, their poses. I mean, we all thought when Lefty was going to get a figure, we're like, man, wouldn't it be great if they had the puppet inside a Lefty in the statue? But because it's Funko, we assume they just do the bare minimum, but they smashed it out of the park. If I were to criticize these statues a little bit, I'd say that the characters themselves don't look like they have a whole bunch of detail, especially Foxy, his base red color just seems a little flat, but honestly, that's such a tiny nitpick that I don't think it matters. Because they look exactly what I wanted them to look like. They look so, so gosh dang good. So hopefully these guys are coming out soon. I know last time we heard they had a autumn release time and we're getting pretty close to going into the winter. But yeah, absolutely insane, massive W by Funko with these brand new statues and also the snaps. Tell me what character do you want to see made into a statue next? And tell me what do you think of the Foxy and Lefty statues? Were they worth the wait? Are you going to be paying most likely the $50 price tag that these guys are going to have. I'd love to know all your thoughts on the FNAF news in the comments down below, but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.